Hey, students of Dynamics, it's Dr. Dan Baker with a quick uh, explanation of this first problem on your homework, homework 19 and also homework 20. Those of you who are in my classes should be able to gain from this. This is on the rigid body motion with slipping topic, the hardest topic that we look at with rigid body motion. The problem looks like this. Okay, here's my Lego model. Put it a little bit closer. So what we have here is this bar. It's confined by a horizontal um, path here on the top, and it's confined by a pin here at this location. Okay, and the problem tells us that we have a velocity and an acceleration of this um, horizontal piece up here going in that direction. Okay, so what that looks like is this. Okay, so it's moving from an initial position here, angle about 30 degrees from horizontal, and of course, I say, like I said, this is going this direction. Notice how this arm here is gonna rotate positive from the right-hand rule, right? So it goes in this direction here, wrapping around positive, rotating positive from the right-hand rule. And then essentially what I want to look at in this interactive that I'll show next is um, using a marker point. The marker point will actually be on the gray bar and then uh, C will be this black collar right here. Okay, so let me flip over to that. So here is that same situation in an interactive. And so here we can move this horizontally. Now notice this marker point, right? C and P are currently in this exact same location. But as we move A going to the, the right, um, notice how the marker point is going to depart from point C. And we could actually draw a vector if we wanted to to show that the relative velocity, the velocity of P relative to C, is moving down towards point B. Now if we flip that around and look at it in the other way, the velocity of C relative to P, right? C isn't moving, but P is. And so as we move from our original position right here, going over in this direction, we can see that C is moving relative to P up towards point A. Okay, and noting that slipping velocity, those relatives of C relative to P and P relative to C are equal and opposite. They're in opposite directions. Um, and that should make sense. Um, also note that you're gonna use, need to use an R vector in this problem, a position vector going from A to P that will be a relative position vector of P relative to A. So again, hopefully that helps you see how this moves here. Again, as we move A to the right, um, P will depart here, meaning that our velocity of C relative to P goes up towards point A. The velocity of P relative to C down toward point B, depending on how you have your equation written. I do recommend writing your equation so that point C is on the left-hand side of your equation, and then basically the right-hand side of your equation is gonna build from A to P to the slipping there with C, right? So the three terms on the right-hand side, none of them will be zero, it turns out, um, but they're gonna be three non-zero terms building from the velocity of A, again, P relative to A, and then C relative to P, making sure all of your subscripts cancel. Thanks for your attention. I hope you're doing well. I hope this homework's going well. I appreciate all your hard work.